Uh -oh. This is the Instep Robin two seat bicycle trailer from Walmart. It was 80 bucks. So if you're looking for a budget bike trailer, this is probably about the cheapest you can find. It folds up nice so that you can put it in the trunk of your car if you're traveling with it before you ride. Uh, the wheels come off and they hook on with these little pins. So overall, it's a really compact package. It seats two riders, maximum weight 80 pounds, and it's got plastic rain shield, and it's got a terrible zipper with the bug screen in it there too. I would imagine most of the time you'd want to roll both of those up and just have your kids see the, the natural air when they're staring at your butt when you're riding your bike. And on the interior, there's a seat belts for two kids. It'll strap them in. I don't know how safe they are in a car accident, but they'll definitely keep your kids from escaping unless they know how to work the buckles. And the end that hooks into your bike hooks up to something that you put on your hub and it's got a spring on it that keeps it fairly flexible. So here it is on my son's BMX bike and he's about to take it through the uh, extreme torture test. I pity the other kid's little brother that has to ride in the back while he's uh, testing it out. But uh, he's having fun with it. He's going off road. And then he decided to take it to the skate park and really hammer it. And by the way, um, he's got his own channel called CF3 BMX and he does 10 minute video where he's just destroying this thing. And the point is, it's extremely rugged, and I think any normal sane person that just wants to ride on flat land with their kid in the back is going to be fine with it. Uh, this video definitely points out the weak points. First of all, um, well, you should never drag your kid sideways. <laughs> you should never try to 360 with your kid in the back. Um, and if your kid is a giant person whose head sticks out the top that weighs more than 80 pounds, you're going to fold the wheel. So you can see that was the end of our fun. The, the plastic wheels are probably the weakest point on this design. They uh, just can't take the beating we gave it. You can still use it as an obstacle at the skate park for kids to jump over and you can still have fun with it after it's destroyed. But overall, good value if you're a sane person, so I'd recommend it. Uh, check the video description for a link to the CF3 BMX video about this.